Hey y'all, we're Ella and Cindy and we're sharing the journey. We get asked lots of times, how do you cook in such a small space? So Cindy's making one of my favorite meals and so we thought we'd bring you along. Cindy, what are you cooking tonight? Chicken wings and french fries. We wish they were raw fries, but I don't cook with grease in the camp. Grease makes a huge mess and so we choose not to cook much. When we were back home, we had a big uh, like fish fryer cooker that we did the propane. We don't have room to carry all that. So we found the best way to cook is with an air fryer. Well, one of the things that we use to cook is an air fryer. We chose the dual control, the two drawer air fryer. You can set each side to a different temperature or you can set them both to the same temperature. So if I wasn't cooking so many wings, I would, um, like if we do hamburgers, I can do two patties on one side, french fries on the other side, set them at the two different temperatures and for two different times. And they finish at the same time because you can do a match cook, which will start one side and then start the other one so that they finish at the same time. But we're doing chicken wings tonight. It's really easy. I take avocado spray or um, olive oil because those work well at high heats. And I just spray the bottom. These have a little drip pan so you're not getting, they're not sitting in grease. But I do spray the bottom of those a little bit, just so that the chicken wings won't stick. And then, I know this is silly, but this is just the way I do things. We like the drumettes and the wing portions. For whatever reason, I have to have the same amount in each side. Like I said, I know it's silly. It's just me. It's just what I do. Can you say OCD? <laughs> it's just my way of doing, and Ellie doesn't care as long as he gets fed. Now, we haven't had chicken wings in a while, but we found them on sale at HEB, and I told her we had to get them. And so this is what it looks like. I just took the chicken wings. I rinsed them off good. You can salt and pepper them if you want. I don't usually salt and pepper them because I figure the barbecue sauce or whatever sauce probably has enough in it. And if Ellie wants to salt it later, he can. Um, so they're just sitting in there. So I push the two drawers in good. I hit the power button. And then I go to my handy dandy book that came with the air fryer. And it says to cook them at 300, whoop, I didn't hit air fry, at 390 degrees. And since I'm doing both drawers, I'm gonna do it for 45 minutes. And all of this is explained in the handy dandy book that comes with the Ninja. Right. And so then I want both sides to cook at the same temperature, same everything. So I'm going to hit match cook. That sets them both at the same. And then we're going to hit start. And it starts cooking for you. We'll bring you back and show you what they look like. So in addition to um, the air fryer, I also like some french fries with my um, wings. So we have two different kinds of ovens. We have a regular gas oven, which we use a good bit, but Cindy likes to cook these in the convection oven, which is a convection oven microwave combination, which doesn't make sense to me. So I've pre it's preheating now to the temperature that I want it at. Um, which is 425 degrees and once it preheats to that it will tell me to put the food in the convection oven and then I just hit start and it will cook it for the amount of time I put it on there for and this was 
425 for 25 minutes. So I've already started the chicken wings because they've got to cook a little longer and sometimes, you know, you got to check on the fries. You might cook them longer too. So everything's ready. As soon as that preheats, I'll stick it in the oven. The convection oven is through preheating. We have a little stand that this goes on. We'll pop the fries in and hit start and get those going. So there's 25 minutes on the timer there and 29 minutes on the timer there. So they'll finish in just about the same amount of time. All right, so Cindy, what are we doing now? We're right at the halfway mark. At the halfway mark, I like to pause it get my tongs and I like to flip them see how crispy they're starting to get give them all a quick turn when do we put the sauce on I pour the sauce into a Rubbermaid container and after I've completely cooked them then I put the sauce on because they're good and hot. Come on, well, that one doesn't want to flip. They're shy of the camera. Yeah, they're like you, they don't mind well. Okay, then we're gonna turn them back on, let them finish. So they're done. Yay! We're I'm hungry. Zero. So here's the, it shows up only on one side. Now we've still got two minutes and 20 seconds, but Cindy. I had to put the fries back in for a little while longer. They just didn't look crisp enough and I'm funny about my fries. But I like just regular barbecue sauce. Alec likes teriyaki. So I just get a little Rubbermaid container big enough to put the chicken wings in. I just pour a little bit of sauce. If I need to add some, I add it later. Look how crispy these look. Those do look good. They look delicious. So, I just... I think Cindy pre-checked the drawers and got the bigger wings for herself. Yeah, no. That's part of being the cook. You can do what you want. So, I put half of them in that one. Ooh, those do look nice and crispy. They always come out crispy. They're good. And then I put his over here. Now I want it does look show. like I got... <laughs> See how the grease is in the bottom? So the grease drops out. And these are Teflon. And they um, clean, clean up, up real easy. I'll put a link down below if you want to look at getting it yourself a ninja. But we've had this thing, what, about two years? Whoop! Wow. I tried to throw them on the ground. Ellie would have been upset. Those are his. Oh, that's right. <laughs> now, somebody's gotten really interested in what we're doing. I see. Two somebody's. I just shake them. Ooh, look at the steam coming good. off of them. Shake them just right. Look at that. Those look good too. Alright, after the fries are done, we will plate them up and come back and show you what they look like. Oh, you ain't got to film me doing this. I think I did get more chicken wings than you That's alright, I'll eat one or two off your plate. I think the hardest part of cleaning up is cleaning up the sauce containers. I like to dip my fries in that sauce sometimes too. 
I'm trying to get a lot of salt. All right, so you'll notice they're two different color French fries. I had a little bit left over out of each bag, so. One's a great value, and the other is the HEB brand. Because we're cheap. Dinner is served. There you go. You got regular barbecue wings, and you got teriyaki wings. Bon appetit. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>